Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Legend of the Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 2. I think we'll just move on with the main story at this point. We're in the epilogue. I really see no point in wandering around campus talking to NPCs. Of course, there could be no more quests at this point. I'm pretty positive of that. Very positive. So let's just get on with the story and see how the story ends leading up to the third game. So anyway, I guess we're speaking to Toa in here on the second floor. Yep. Hmm? Sounds like someone's talking inside. Oh, and about next year's entrance ceremony. Don't worry, I got all the arrangements sorted out. Excuse me, could you stamp this for me, please? Hold on just a sec, I'll be right there. Sounds really busy. I should probably go and check in on the engineering building first. Alright. I should have known that before coming here. Whatever, it's fine. It's fine. It's really weird that they have you fight Rain, though, in the last section, because I'm pretty sure you control Rain in the third and fourth games, based on what I could tell by screenshots. So I don't know. It's like they're setting him up to be the villain, but oh. I don't know. Hey there, Rain. <clears throat> Oh, did you give her back her bike? Looks like someone's done with class for the day. Yeah. Yep, just got out. Mm -hmm. Wait, is that...? That's the bike. Yep, Angie's brand new bike. Oh, it's a new bike. We started building it for you, but then we had a change of heart. You should have a bike too, I just Angie. couldn't tear you away from your current ride after you'd grown so attached. Mm -hmm. Now I feel bad, considering I pretty much did just that to you. Oh, come on, she gave you the bike ring. Your new one's got a pretty cool design, though. <coughs> I guess. Don't get too jealous. The specs are pretty much the same as yours. Well, before Angie tunes it up <laughs> and adds her custom gear for distance riding, that is. Oh, of course. But distance riding would mean... Mean what? You're planning on going off on some big journey, oh. aren't you? She's an adventurer, Reen. You gotta respect that. Ten points to Reen. I just felt like it was time for me to go out and see the world for myself. I respect that. My martial arts teacher did the same thing once, so I'm sure it'll be a valuable experience for me. The plan for now is to travel through the entirety <coughs> of Zamiria. That's not a very specific plan, and a pretty sizable journey. I'm sure she can handle it. You can say that again. I have no idea where she finds the energy. Oh, really now? Your plan to visit the continent's most famous engineering factories is pretty much exactly the same thing. Oh, you're leaving too, George. You really think so? I take it you'll be leaving Erebonia for a while too, George? Apparently. It seems that way. First stop's the borough and ZCF. Always wanted to see it. I mean, you're both second years, right? So you should be graduating anyway. After that, I got my heart <coughs> set on a trip to the Epstein Foundation over in Le Mans State. Sounds like you'd be very busy. Well, I'm at it. I think it'd be nice to pay a visit to the Vern Company in Calvert, too. Will you even be able to get into Calvert at this point? <coughs> I don't know. Hey, I didn't say it'd be easy. But I think I can pull some strings. I'm sure you can. The real reason for this trip is to figure out what I can do as an engineer to help smooth over our international relations. Well, that's really noble of you. Meeting the continent's finest engineers and discussing things with them should really help get the ball rolling on that. Mm -hmm. You've thought that far ahead. It's very smart. Man, Reen. Very smart, George. That's really admirable. I hope you can find a way to make that happen. <coughs> Even though I feel kind of hypocritical saying that, as someone who participated in the war. Yeah, but you have... It was your decision to join the government, Don't right? Don't beat yourself up over it, Reen. You have nothing to be ashamed of. Listen to your friends, Reem. That was your only option, given the way the Chancellor set things up. Not the he's your biological father. Your actions actually helped us avoid an even longer, more brutal war. I'd like to think that. But... <clears throat> Angie's right. You played a role that no one else could have. Yeah, because you're the only one who could pilot the knight. Just think. If things kept going the way they were going, we could have been at war with all of Crossbell. That's 100% true. I don't even want to imagine the number of lives that would have been lost if you hadn't stepped in the way you did. George makes some good points, Rain. 
Of course, us telling you whether or not you should feel guilty doesn't matter. It all comes down to you facing your own feelings over what you did. But there's one thing we'd like you to remember <coughs> as you do. <coughs> Sorry guys, this seltzer I'm drinking is making me You're cough You're not alone, reason. Rain. You've got friends who understand why you did what you did. Sometimes, I wonder how I was lucky enough to get such good ones. Fate? Thanks, you guys. This really helps. <laughs> don't mention it. On a completely different note, why don't you pay Valimar a visit while you're here? Might as well. no expense making sure he'd be nice and cozy in there. I think I will. Mm -hmm. But not to discredit your coziness efforts <clears throat> or anything, but he seems fine no matter where I leave him. Hmm. <laughs> well, aren't you a sweet chevalier? Maybe I'll check in on him in a bit, too. Okay, next stop is here. We've never been through this door, have we? No, I've never seen this area. Night slash sold that storage area. Damn. Very tall ceiling. Hey, Valimar. How you holding up? The store is there, too. Relatively comfortably. That's good. My ability to self repair means that maintenance is not mandatory, but I expect it will increase my operating efficiency. That's also good. Glad to hear it. Mm -hmm. This is going to be our new home base for the time being, so you can get in as much maintenance as you need. <clears throat> cool. I'm gonna need you a lot in the days ahead, Valimar. No doubt. I will strive to meet your expectations. I'm sure you will. What are you thinking? Something wrong? Not as such. I thought I sensed something unusual. <coughs> no, I don't think so, Valmar. You really are getting to be scarily human these days, you know. What was it you sensed, though? A, a person? I am unsure. It may have simply been a fluctuation of the Earth things below us. Whatever that means. Similar fluctuations are hardly abnormal. Well, if you don't think it's anything worth worrying about, I'll try and put it out of my mind. I think it is something worried about. If you about. sense anything strange in the future, though, let me know, okay? You can tell me... telepathic <coughs> is the word, right? Indeed. I shall use it to inform you should I sense anything is amiss. Oh, so you could communicate telepathically, not bad. Sorry guys, this new seltzer that my sister gave me, it's a sweetened seltzer. Normally, Seltzer has zero calories and zero carbs. This one has five calories and one carb. It has a little sucrose in it. it tastes good, but it's making me cough like crazy. <laughs> First time I'm trying it, too. Alright, let's go see Toa now. I mean, I do like it, but I don't want the side effect of it making me cough. Alright. Toa should be ready by now, hopefully. <clears throat> I can't hear anyone talking now. I guess the meeting must be finished. We gotta be able to see her now? Let's see. Knock knock. Question mark. There's definitely someone in there, but there's no response. Hmm. Oh, I know. Excuse me, I'm coming in. Who's in there? Oh, she's sleeping. Okay. Again, huh? <sighs> Well, you want to put yep, her cold around her again? I knew it. No wonder she fell asleep. <coughs> she must have been really busy getting everything sorted out for the spring. <laughs> Makes me remember yeah. finding her like this over in the computer room. Mm hmm. I remember that. You got a choice oh, what to right. do now? I probably shouldn't look too much or she'll get mad when she wakes up. Yeah. Angie. George. Mm. <gasps> What's so strange? <sighs> Wait, why are you so shocked? <clears throat> Damn my throat, guys, I'm sorry. Rain? Are oh, you embarrassing her again, Rain? What are you doing in my room? It's not really your room, it's your, the student council room. Yeah. This is the student council.
council room. Yep. They must have fallen asleep. <laughs> or we just got here. Sorry for coming in without permission. I did knock, though. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's my fault for dozing off like this. <sighs> Why do you always have to keep finding me like that? I don't know. I hope you weren't looking at me while I was sleeping again. I just got here. I, uh, uh I did try to look as little as possible. <laughs> well, if you say so. We won't lie to you, Toa. Hmm? Is something the matter? You're not looking too well. You're no, not? I'm fine. Maybe the light streaming in through the window is making me look off color? I feel fine, really. I'm not so sure about that. <sighs> Um, where are we going? W what's this all about? I have no idea. I know that you're a boy and all, and I do think that you've grown a lot during your year here. Okay. No, I probably shouldn't even call you a boy anymore. You're a grown man now. Is he considered old enough to, like, gamble and drink? But... I'm not sure. It's only been a few months since the end of the first game, right? That doesn't mean you always have to stand and endure everything life throws your way. Okay? If it gets too much, it's alright to sit down and let it all out. I'm not sure what you're trying to imply. Whether you're a boy or a grown man doesn't change that. It's okay, Reen. <gasps> I'm so sorry. We you have apologized for? <sighs> I'm so, so sorry. I promised I'd bring him back. Wait, there's nothing you could have done about that. I promised I'd make him graduate with you. But I couldn't do it. It's okay. You did everything you could. You made sure he knew how we all felt. And... You let all of us know how he really felt, too. I guess that was the best outcome if he had to die, but... So, don't get so worked up about it. Okay? I still want to know how the Chancellor survived getting shot through the chest, though. I don't think we're going to get an answer by the end I'm of this sorry. game, though. I didn't want anyone to see me like that. <laughs> well, I guess we're even, then. Touché. Not like I jump for joy every time you catch me sleeping. <laughs> Have you finished getting everything ready for the next student council now, by the way? Oh yeah, you're graduating yep. too. My days of being president are almost done. Who's going to be your successor? The first years taking over are really smart, though. I barely had to teach a thing in the end. That's good. Still, it must have been hard work getting through it all. You're going on a tour of various NGOs after graduation, right? I'm not sure what an NGO is. Yep. The plan's to take a year to visit NGOs in lots of different fields. Politics, economics, <clears throat> engineering, medicine... I know why. I think you'd make a good politician. After that, I'm not sure what I want to do. I'll probably yeah. join either the army or something related to the government, I suppose. Good for you. Well, I'm pretty sure they'd both love to have you. There's no chance either one would say <clears throat> no to you. Especially since taking a year off hasn't made them any less determined to recruit you. After all you did with commanding the courageous, it's no wonder you're right. so in demand. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think I did anything special, really. Oh, you certainly did. Don't be so modest. Still, I feel like it'd be best in the long run for me to see the world from a variety of different perspectives. That's good, just like Angie is doing. I don't know what path I'll choose, but I want to step onto it with a firm decision on how things should be. I think that's the best thing I can do for this country's future. <coughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm being a little over dramatic there, though. Well, anyone can influence the world Not if they all. try hard enough. After how much you've done for this academy, I can only imagine how much you could do for this country. Yeah, it's very true. Just try not to overwork yourself, okay? We're with you all the way, but we will always worry, you know? Hmm. Always room for worry. Thanks. Oh, I almost forgot. What was it that made you come here? 
Good question. I'm happy you did, but... Oh, I'd completely forgotten, too. I just came to ask if there was anything I could do to help tomorrow, <coughs> seeing as it's another free day. But... You've only just come back. And besides, tomorrow's your... That's all the more reason I want to spend tomorrow's free day the same way I spent all of the others. It wouldn't feel like our final free day is Class 7 if it were any different. Okay, that's nice of you, Rain. Well, if you say so... Okay! I do have a few things in mind, so I'll just drop them into your mailbox in the dorm like I always do. Are there gonna be more quests after this? And thanks for offering. It's weird. Well, it makes you think that if there's gonna be more quests, there's gonna be like another dungeon, and more fighting to be done. Boy's voice, ring. Is that Elliot? Oh, it's the whole group. <laughs> hey guys, they expect to run to you. Yeah, crazy coincidence, huh? Are you heading back to the dormitory too? I guess so. That was the idea. Why don't we all hop back together then? I mean, something can happen in the old schoolhouse, maybe, that causes us to bring out the sword again? I don't know. Dots. It's nice seeing the flowers as they start to bloom. Yeah, I you said earlier that uh, they'd be in full bloom in a week, but I'm thinking it'll be closer to the end of the month, personally. Just in time for the welcoming ceremony. New students will be able to begin their academic lives here, surrounded by Wemo flowers, just as we did. How wonderful. Everyone's thinking. We've all known each other since your first day here, right? Yeah? That's right. Nobody else starred part way through the year like you did, except for Crow. Back then, I never could have imagined we'd get along this well. We got off to kind of a rocky start, yes, definitely. You're telling me. Especially Machias and Eusis. They're still not friends. What's worth, I, I do regret the way I behaved back then. It's not exactly something I'm terribly proud of. Oh, think nothing of it. Maturity makes fools of even the best of us at times. Thanks, I- Hold on, what's with that expression? We weren't exactly standing on moral high ground either. I've had as much of a reason to behave the way I did if you hadn't keep, uh, kept looking down your nose at me. Did you not hear me say the best of us? <laughs> it was hell on all of us at the time, but it's all just a fond memory now. I suppose the same could be said about you or in Green's little incident at the start of the year. I probably could not ever talk about that again. Just had to bring that up, didn't you? Yeah, exactly. I just seen this coming. Yeah. Had to bring that up, didn't you, or? Ooh, little incidents are my favorite. Tell me, tell me, tell me. No. Well, no, Fee. Don't you dare. She's the last person who needs to know. Okay, we're taking a break in the park. Our first day really was full of surprises. Not to mention that... <clears throat> yeah. I can't imagine too many teachers welcoming their, welcoming their students by dropping them through a hole in the floor. Yeah, that too. Even though having to fight a gargoyle on the way out, that's a pretty memorable st start to a school year. It certainly is. That gargoyle proved to be quite the opponent too. Yeah, we were well leveled, sure. <clears throat> Got through it, though. I'll say. And when you finally manage to pull together and defeat it, she just casually drops to him like nothing happened. Like she was lying in wait the whole time, watching and waiting for a chance to strike. That's exactly what she was doing. Sarah is a weird one. I guess Class 7 wouldn't have any other way, though. Still, as exhausting and unusual as it was, that was how our class began, true? I'm pretty sure it's burned into all of our memories at this point, minus Milliam. How could it not be? I have no doubt about that. Even so, I'm sure it's one of the memories that I'll cherish decades in the future, yeah. Oh, now you got me all jealous. Sorry, Milliam. Now it's my turn to do something crazy and make some super memorable memories, too. Don't. You. Dare. We can bring out Whammy. <coughs> I get to imagine what she's thinking when she says something crazy. <coughs> Sorry guys, my throat's still acting up. 
I'm gonna bump in this somebody now. On a hopefully unrelated note, what are we gonna do for dinner tonight? Sharon cooking? Hmm. I don't plan on getting something over at Kershaw's, but if anyone has any better ideas... I think it may be a good idea to make something for ourselves. <coughs> we divide up the work between us, I'm sure our meal will have quite a bit of variety, too. It does sound nice. My cooking skills were in danger of getting rusty, too. No objections here. <coughs> well, unless anyone has what they need already, I think it's time to split up. Probably got a lot to buy, so... Hey, Sharon. How did I know she would pop in? Huh? Sharon? What reason could you possibly have for being here? <laughs> Curtsy. The chairman gave me her permission to return to my former position as your dormitory's caretaker. Okay. Which means I am here to serve you all once more. Isn't the school year ending like in a day or there two? There may only be a short time left until the end of the year, but I'll make sure you want for nothing during it. That's nice of you. I've already started preparing your evening meal, so there's no need to go out and buy anything. Oh, well, how about that? I'm fine with this. We will gladly accept your offer. <laughs> Sharon's cooking's better than whatever grub we could wrestle up together anyway. Yeah, it's true. How did you manage to get permission from Mother in the first place, though? Weren't you helping to rebuild the Reinford Group? I thought the company was getting so many orders in, it was struggling to keep up! She's not a builder, she's a fighter. Now that Master Gwyn has returned to the company, Lisa. everything is back Oh! In he did return! He and the Chairman have been speeding through one task after another since he got back. This is news to me. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Wait, you knew that he came so back? So the former and current chairman make quite a team, I see. I could only imagine. They're Sarah. Boy, I'm starving. Wouldn't mind a drink either. With the weather getting warmer, it's just about time for peak beer season. Huh? What are you guys all gathered out here for? Oh, why are you here? That's such a whiny voice. It's a pleasure to see you too, Lady Sarah. You not got a long Sharon either? I brought a bountiful supply of smoked oysters and sardines. If you'd like a snack to accompany your beer, would you like them alongside your dinner? Uh, damn it. Yes. I know you don't like Claire, but I thought you were okay with Sharon, Sarah. I'm surprised she can just walk around in public like this. <coughs> You know, considering her affiliation. With our boroughs? Guessing there's some sort of agreement in place between yeah. Reinford and the government to leave her alone. Maybe. Oh, even if there weren't, I can't imagine anything would be able to stop Sharon from doing what she wants. Yeah, she's pretty powerful. Give her that. In nighttime. Maybe we'll have to walk around the rooms again? Let's see. Okay, let's go see if we want to stay out or not, right? Whew. I think I might have eaten too much. <clears throat> it's been so long since we last had Sharon's cooking. She hasn't lost her touch. None of it feels heavy on my stomach at all. Well, that's all my work done for the day. Maybe I should go see how everyone else is doing. Yes, we shall. We explore Class 7's dorms on the night before each free... Each free day? Is it never free day? Be aware, however, the story will progress should you return to Rain's room. Yep, I got gotcha. you. What do you mean by each free day? I don't think this could be another one. Not Crow's room. Here's Crow's room. Mm hmm. You wanna go in or not? I think not? I'll stay away from it for now. I feel more like going around and talking to everyone. I mean, he pretty much took everything out when he put the success of the transform, right? I don't know. <clears throat> hey, Machius. Working hard or hard? <laughs> I'll stop you right there. Of course I'm hard at work. Just look at the size of this book. 
you know, it's like the Bible. If I can't internalize as much of it as possible while I'm here, I'm doomed to failure from the start. And this is one of your new textbooks? Man, Heimdall's political academies don't mess around, do they? Oh, you're becoming a political... You'll be the youngest person there, right? Oh, you're moving to Heimdall political academy. Most likely. I'd normally need to have graduated from Thor's with a bit more experience under my belt to have gotten in. So how'd you get in? There are a few Thor's grads there already, though. They take some every year. That's good. And as you might imagine, the recent political upheaval has the place swarming with applicants this year. Only imagine. The entrance exam was hard enough on its own, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. Can't say I envy you. <laughs> Still, I know you're going to be just fine. I'm sure everyone will be just you're fine. You're so smart that you can handle any subject they throw at you. Growing up with your dad should give you a leg up on the politics, too. <laughs> yeah, no pressure there. Honestly, there are times when I think diving into things head first like this is a giant mistake. <sighs> What's wrong? Oh, and it's nothing. It's just... I know we're probably going to both be really busy with our own lives come spring. We're all going to be busy. But let's make time to have lunch together once in a while or something. Okay? That'd be nice. Studying is all well and good, but even I need a change of pace every now and again. Of course, everybody does. <laughs> I think that can be arranged. The train from here to Heimdall only takes a half hour. I don't see any reason why we wouldn't hang out sometimes. You know, you can visit your sister, then too. it's a date. I mean, I don't know if she's going back to see Australia after this, but... Okay, next room. Elliot. Hey, Elliot. Taking care of your violin? Can you please play a song yeah, for me? Yeah, it's taken care of me over the past year, so why not return the favor? Hmm. I'm actually planning on giving a few of them to the Academy before I go. Oh, Just to nice make sure year. next year's first years have something to practice with. Okay. That's really generous, and sure to make a lot of people happy. So are we going to find out where everyone's going for the duration of the end of the game? Or after the end of the game And you'll finally ends? be heading off to a music academy, just like oh. you always wanted. Really? I bet they'll push you pretty hard over there, too. I know as far as that he'd support his son wherever he wanted to go, but I don't doubt good. it. I'm going to need to be all music all the time if I want to stand a chance of keeping up. I just hope for my sake in the third game, they have a equally uh, a healer as equal as him. So, he is. to be honest, after all the time I've spent here, I don't really want my life to be completely about music. Yeah, I, I can understand I that. I love it, obviously, but to be a balanced person, I want to have a bit more variety in my life, like I had here at the Academy. So you want to give up being a... For student? one thing, I don't want to get too rusty <clears throat> with my orbital staff. Yeah. Good to hear. I hope everything works out for you. Thanks. Me too. Uh... What? Play me a song. Come on, you know you want to. You know, Reen. I really think I should... Don't. What? I know what you're going to say, but don't. What's he going to say? I'm happy you've thought about it, but it wouldn't benefit either of us. We've had this discussion more than enough times. I'm not sure what you're talking what? about. <sighs> the best thing the two of us can do now is go our own ways. Our paths are laid out ahead of us, and they're diverging. You only get one life, so you should live it for yourself, instead of feeling obliged to hold back for someone else. The same holds true for all of our other classmates, too. Yeah, I guess so. That's why I decided to transfer to begin with. The war's over, but that doesn't mean our difficult times are at an end. Oh, definitely not. There's definitely going to be some sort of our conflict. And I still want to use the power of music to heal people's hearts, even if it's just a little bit. I hope everything goes well for you here at Thor's in the meantime, though. Even if I am worried that you're going to overwork <coughs> yourself while I'm away. Oh, that's a definite. But since <laughs> Trist is really close to Heimdall, I'll pop over to check on you as much as I can. Yeah, it's only half hour drive. Think I'd drive um, you crazy train. if I visited once a week? No, I don't think so. I don't know if either one of us would have time for that, to be honest. You could make time, Rain. I'm sure we'll be able to keep hanging out with each other, though. I'll try to find chances to visit you in Heimdall, too. Then it's decided. I'm glad he's following his ambitions, Elliot. Okay. Nice. I imagine you're going to do something with art, right? Are you finishing up your painting, guys? 
Yeah, this is my last one. I want to make sure I'm completely satisfied with it before declaring it finished. Which I think even on that campus. That's understandable. You're going to keep painting once you're back at home, though, right? Oh, you're returning home. Well, I don't know how much time I'll have to set aside for it, but I intend to keep working on it, bit by bit. Yeah, I know you said you wanted to get back to your family. There's growing reason for concern in Calvert to the east of the Highlands. But, all in all, things are more peaceful now than they were. I should be able to focus on painting my magnum opus. I'm sure you will. Oh, is it going to be ignored? If anyone can make a masterpiece of the Highlands, it'd be you. <laughs> that wouldn't be such a bad idea. But actually, I was intending to paint a picture of the Academy, its students, oh. and the Courageous. You can have one shot to do that, though. You mean... Now you're getting it. I want to capture the day we liberated the Academy. Oh. And once I've finished it, I fully intend to return to Erebonia with it in hand. That's cool. What better way to forever memorialize this place as my second homeland? Man, you really are amazing. Well, if you ever need reference materials, you know who to call. Hmm. I can get pictures of anything you might need and send them over. I know you're talented, but that's a lot to paint off of just your memory. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> I'd appreciate that. It was right, there's nothing on that canvas, okay. Um, Eustace? Yeah, Eustace. Something on your mind, Eustace? Staring out the window. <clears throat> For the first time in a long time, no. I'm just taking a short break. I mean, there's a lot to think about. Your brother's in iron blood, and he's gonna help with the government? Looking over an endless sea of documents can be rather tiring on the eyes. And your fire's still under house arrest, as far as I could tell. So what oh, are you up to? Are those the tax reports you mentioned? Tax reports? Ordinarily, this would be my father's work, but His Majesty has yet to decide his fate. I mean, did he kill somebody? Or cause actions that did kill somebody, so... Rufus hasn't so much as glanced in Berea Hard's direction since he took his new job in Crossbell, either. Oh, so Berea Hard's empty As such, now. the task falls to me. Hmm. Man, I knew everyone in our class had it pretty rough right now. But you've got it roughest, no contest. Not necessarily, Green. <laughs> if my ego had its way, I would boast that filling in for my father is a simple and mundane task. He was a duke, so it must be a big shoes to fill. But on top of the paperwork, I'll need to manage the provincial army and oversee the province as a whole. Just make them sure they're not so, like, bad, you know? Then there's corrupt. the matter of keeping the most stubborn of the nobility in check. I don't expect the first six months to be pleasant. Oh, definitely not. <laughs> the fact that you're already thinking six months ahead is pretty impressive as it is. Standing in for Duke Alboreo like that must take some real confidence. <clears throat> I know you'll manage, though. Yeah, he'll be just fine. <laughs> that much is obvious. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is else it? on your mind? It's nothing. Why do you always say it's In nothing? In the days to come, more people will be relying on you than ever before. Of course. But no matter who does so or what they ask, do not lose your pride as a noble. Act independently, your head held high. Good words. Maintain your pride and your autonomy, and I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> Thanks. I promise I will. I'll hold you to that. Yeah, I was about to say, I really hope you stand up to the standards. Green. Okay, so, up or down? What time are we at? We still got a little more time. Who's on the next floor? The girls, I think? Yeah, one more people to talk to. That's just chilling on your bed, Milliam. What's up, Milliam? Oh, hey, Reen. You can see me walk in. It's nothing. I just feel kind of down. down. Why? Yeah. I was just thinking about how everyone was at dinner time. Sharon's food was really nice, and we all seemed like we were having a good time. Well, you're upset that we're all going to split up, I guess? But I don't know. It was weird. Like, we were all upset, but didn't want to let it show. It's been bugging me. Oh, so that's why. You really have grown so much these past few months. Not just yeah. mentally. I think you've gotten a little taller, too. I haven't noticed Maybe. that. About two rage or so? Judging by my specs, I'm not gonna get much taller than this, though. 
I'm Mini Million forever and ever. <laughs> but you never know. Maybe I'll grow up to have boobies so big, I can use them as a shelf like Emma's. Okay, I need to hear that. <laughs> Something wrong? Nah, not really. Why does everyone say that I have a second floor that they don't so talk about? So, you've got a new mission starting next month, right? I guess yep. so. I've got to go see how things are over at West. Out Duke Cayenne's been arrested, but it sounds like things are still pretty nuts over there. I hope they throw the book at that guy. He's terrible. Oh, but guess what? I might get to go out to Liberal and Rimiferia soon. What is it with you and blabbing classified information? Well, whatever. Just promise me you'll take care of yourself. Be sure to keep in touch. I'll always be right there when you need me, okay? Righto, I promise. That goes double for you, mister. If you <laughs> need me to bust you out of a jam, just say the word. Okay, how many more are on this floor? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Five more people. Uh, also, Sarah and Sharon might be here. Oh, yeah, yeah there's Sarah. We have the map. Hmm. Something on your mind, Instructor? <laughs> you could say that. I mean, are you going to stay at fours and teach? I've been mulling over how things are going to be come next month, but all this soul searching is giving me a headache. Well, it'll probably feel strange being back with the guild for the first time in oh. two years. You're going back to the Bracer Guild. I bet they'll be glad to have you back. Hmm. Things are probably going to be rough over there, even with you taking <clears throat> up the Bracer life again. It was spicing us up, definitely. No doubt but... there. I can already see plenty of traveling abroad in my future after what happened over in Crossbow. That's fine. And I imagine it'll keep getting harder and harder for us bracers to operate here, too. Well, you couldn't list more people, recruit more people. What's with that sad puppy look? There's no reason for you to feel ashamed of what you've chosen to do. I'm proud to have a student like you who can stand up and make the tough choices life thrusts on us. Thanks, Instructor. I'll try to just grin and bear it for now. That a boy. Sticking it out through the hard times with a smile will put you on the fast track to becoming a great man. Just make sure you don't try to shoulder too much. All that'll do is turn you into a jaded grump. Everything in moderation, okay? I hope it's gonna work out. Uh, thanks. <laughs> I haven't joined the intelligence division, and I have no plans to. So you're just gonna be like a support figure? I'm gonna keep responding to their requests, but only if I'm comfortable <clears throat> doing what they're asking. Okay. And I can promise you, I'll never do anything that would put me in conflict with the guild, or put innocents' lives at risk. I don't know about that, I don't know Reed. what the future will bring for me, but that's the creed I want to stand by. It's a good creed, but maybe it can happen. <laughs> I know. Don't worry. No matter what happens, you'll always be my student. Hmm. So go out there, live your life, and grow into such a heartthrob that I won't be able to take my eyes off you. <laughs> sure. Well, I'll try. Okay, four more people, and then maybe Sharon down in the lobby. B? What's she looking at? Hmm. Are those seeds you've got there? I thought that was a leather. Yep, Adel gave them to me. Okay. They all came from the plants we grew in the gardening club. I'm just looking at what kinds there are here. Really? That's really nice of her. It's kind of like you can take everything you've achieved over the past year with you. That's a nice way of looking at. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't even going to join a club until Adel found me relaxing and invited me. But I guess it wasn't so bad. Oh, definitely not. <laughs> Do you stop doing that, Reen? Don't you worry. I'll be sure to check on the gardening club every once in a while just to see how things are going. It would be a shame if all the plants you've spent so long looking after were to wither and die. I don't make her, um, fearful. It doesn't matter. Even if they do, they'll eventually bloom again <clears throat> somewhere else. I mean, if they're perennials, yeah, annuals, no. Kind of like us. When you put sure. it that way, I suppose you're right. Hmm. What's wrong? Nothing. Is that like the fifth time so far someone has second thought in this scene and they said nothing? Hmm. This one and 
this one should be okay too. If he gave refill, uh, gave Reem a handful of seeds. What oh. are these for? They're the Land? easiest ones to look after. Oh. You can try raising them if you want. Don't worry if they wilt or anything, though. Uh, not my watch. When I found the others from Zephyr, I'll come back and check if they're still blooming. Oh, that's what you're gonna do. If they are, you get a pat on the head. <laughs> hey, I thought the head rubbing was my job. But I'll give it my best shot. Oh, so she's gonna look for the other members of Zephyr. I still know what they need by reviving the boss, because I... I hope we'll find out. Cross Club? <sighs> Feeling sad about leaving the lacrosse club behind? Yeah. I was really into it by the end. So you're gonna work for the Ryanford group I now? think it'll make for some wonderful memories to look back fondly on in the years to come. I know you did say you wanted to inherit the company from your mother. I can imagine. Does that mean you're not gonna keep up with lacrosse and Ruer? Yeah, you're going to Ruer. I don't think I'll be able to. As far as I'm aware, there aren't any local teams I could join. And even if there were, I doubt I'd have the time for sports. Just thinking about how busy I'll be makes my head spin. Yeah, you are going to work for no, the, no, your mother. No, no, scratch that. Right? Being busy is all the more reason I need to make time for exercise. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Helping out with the Reinford group sounds like a recipe right. for one all-nighter after another. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not just yet, actually. I won't be helping until Grandfather shows me the ropes. As I am now, I doubt I'll be able to do much at all in the way of rebuilding the company. But you can bet I'll leave Mother speechless with how much progress I've made in a year's time. I do hope you can mend that relationship <laughs> at some point. I'm sure you can if you put your mind to it. And I know Sharon will always be willing to help you out if you need her. That's she true. She probably would, but then she'd just tell everything she did to Mother. You know that. <sighs> you know that for sure, Elisa. Elisa? Uh, you say it's nothing, uh, right? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Is that a cliche thing for this scene? I was scene? just thinking about how blessed I am. I've got a wonderful family, a great club I'm part of, all of you as my classmates. Oh, right. I mean, your father is dead, but... It took but... me a long time to realize the same thing, too. We really are one and the same. Yeah. Hmm. You fit... Oh. What's with that look? Uh, Elisa. Uh, <laughs> it's nothing, uh, honestly. No, it isn't. You're blushing. I'm just feeling a bit emotional all of a sudden. I don't know what's gotten into me. Was I in high friendship with those of you? I'm not sure. Nothing's wrong, though. I promise. You're still blushing. But... Still, let's both make the most of our free day tomorrow. It's the last one we'll ever have as a class. The last thing any of us want to do is end it with regrets. So should I assume after the free day is graduation day, or is it going to be some sort of ceremony? I'm not yeah. sure. Agreed. Let's make it a day to remember for both of us. I still don't know how this game is going to wrap up. We have the basic idea that everyone's moving on, but as far as um, specifics go, I have no Oh, that's fee, yeah. Specifics go, I have no idea. Okay, Laura. Staring at a picture? <laughs> You're just walking in with everybody who's lost in the fall, aren't you? What are you looking you? at, Laura? <laughs> it's you, Reen. Yeah. I'll show you. Oh, a Monica, oh, right? You and Monica got a picture taken together? Apparently. They both look so happy in it, too. That we do. Someone in the photography club kindly offered to take it for us. Rex? I thought it would make a fine souvenir of my time at the Academy to take away with me. My mirror's on that being Rex. <laughs> oh, well. It's a nice photo, and he got permission. For once. Yeah, for once. I never expected you and Monica would get so close. Well, they're both in the same club, right? Between Makes her sense. and Fee, you kind of have a knack for becoming the best of friends with the ones you bump heads with first. <laughs> Please, don't say that. I'm truly grateful to both of them for broadening my horizons. Meeting them enriched my life in ways I could have never pictured before. Truly, coming to this academy was one of the best decisions I've ever made. Glad to hear I didn't that. realize we'd made such a big impact on you. 
Oh, Reed, of course you did. <laughs> well, you did. And don't mind me, I'm just feeling a little emotional. This isn't like me at all now, is it? It's fine, There's Laura. no harm in a few tears, I suppose. This will be my last time I can relax before my training, after all. So what are you gonna yeah. do, Laura? You're not gonna get much rest in with the training you've got lined up. Oh, you're gonna work under your father, maybe? You're your sword. I won't be learning the Arsade School's advanced techniques with training any less intense. Okay. I have no okay. idea where we'll be conducting said training, but it will no doubt be as perilous as it will be dangerous. You'll be fine, I have to Laura. spend a month in the Isengard range as part of mine. Oh. I don't think a month's going to cut it with what you're doing, though. It goes way beyond your average techniques. Oh yeah, you said you were in the mountains for a month Indeed. or something, right? I remember that. I'm anticipating that it will take at least half a year, if not more. Father's going to be with me. But with things as difficult as they are, part of me feels guilty for taking up his time. I don't feel guilty. I don't know about that. I think him agreeing to train with you shows how much faith he has in your potential. Yeah, Besides, that. in a lot of ways, this might be the best time to do it. That is very true. Hmm. What's wrong? Yes. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. <laughs> Regardless, I'd love to come and visit you should the opportunity present itself. I'm sure it will. And if it does... I'd like to formally Ooh. request a duel with you to test how much the two of us have grown. Probably a lot by then. <laughs> Let's not kid ourselves. We both know who's going to win that duel. No. But your invitation is all the motivation I need to get plenty of training in myself. Can't have you beating me too badly. <laughs> I hope you will. Okay, now just Emma. And whoever's on the ground floor. Long way. Where's Celine? Celine not here? What are you doing? She's obviously writing oh, something. Oh, hi there, Reen. Well, Dorothy and I decided that we're going to put together one final collection of stories as a club. Since then, I've been working on a story for the students who will join the club next year. Oh, that sounds neat. Sure Wait, does. if Dorothy's <coughs> involved... What, it's going to be some crazy story? Uh, the content is totally appropriate <laughs> for children of all ages, I assure you. I hope so. Admittedly, Dorothy's own story sounds like it'll have a few of her favorite literary elements, but all in moderation, she assured. You better proofread that before it goes public. <laughs> Not that I'm one to judge. What kind of story are you writing? It's question. supposed to be a fairy tale. That's cool. I can't pretend it's 100% original, though. I borrowed some elements from a story I heard as a child. It's going to star a golden unicorn and a pure-hearted maiden. Or at least, that's the plan. Okay. Sounds interesting. Yeah. Can I give it a read when you're done? Don't pressure her. I'll read. still be here next year, so if I see any first years who seem like they'd enjoy it, I'll recommend it to them. <laughs> I have to confess, I'm a little embarrassed to let anyone see it. The whole point of a story is to be read. True. Hmm. Something wrong? You're gonna say nothing. <laughs> no, not at all. I'm sure you and Valimar will be just fine without my help now. What's well, sweet? Still, if you do need anything, don't hesitate to get in touch. I mean, Selene was if it's most of these fights. Can Reen still operate without Selene? It may take some time to contact me, though. You'll need to use a method that isn't exactly conventional. So am I supposed to assume you're going back to yeah, your witch? Room? I could have guessed as much. I mean, I theoretically get how to use runes to communicate since you told me, but I have no oh, idea how it actually works. I'd be shocked if you did. It's pretty far removed from the horrible technology you're used to. Okay. It has its benefits, though. For one, you'll be able to reach me no matter where I might be. So right. don't ever hesitate to drop me a line if you need my assistance. I'd always be happy to hear from you. All right. I'm sure I'll give you a ring. Or a rune, I guess. Very I funny. hope you end up being able to find Vita, too. Yeah, we don't know where she went. Thank you. I mean, she could be anywhere with her ability to teleport. Okay. Hey, we're on the top floor, right? Okay, let's see who's on the lobby. In the lobby, excuse me. 
if anybody. Okay, anyone here? Two people. Oh, there's there's Celine. Sleeping? Wow. Should you have like a cat bed or something? Oh, there you are. You look bored, Celine. I can't be very comfortable so I'm a I guess I am. Poor. My work's done at this point. So what are you gonna do I now? I feel like I aged a few decades as soon as the war came to an end. Your purpose is dumb, what does that mean? <laughs> Come on now. Feels a bit strange to be saying it after the fact, but you fought pretty well over in Crossbell. You've really mastered piloting Valimar. Okay, okay so I guess it'd be fine without you I'd like you to then. think so, anyway. I feel like I can <clears throat> pull off just about anything with him now. Yeah. I think I couldn't do half as much with him when I was first starting out. You've learned a lot, You do you? realize you just admitted you were totally useless, right? Hey, that's a bit harsh, so... <sighs> I wonder if you're gonna be okay without us, you know? I'm sure he'll be just Valimar fine. Valimar must have drawn the short straw to end up with a budding Awakener like you. Hey, what's with the insults? Thanks for worrying about me all the time, Celine. <laughs> Excuse me, what makes you think I was worried about you? Just about everything. From what I can tell, you've always worried about me. Back in the beginning, when I didn't know anything about piloting, you were always there to guide me through our battles. You're gonna embarrass me. I doubt me. I would have ever come this far if you didn't have my back. So, thank you. For all of it. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you always have to be like this? Just the way he is, Celine. Just the way he is. There are parts of the legends passed down in the clan that not even Emma and I know about. But just bear this one thing in mind. What's that? Divine knights have incredible power. Oh. And they can become devils just as easily as they can become gods. The bear used that knife for good purposes. Don't worry, I know. And I won't forget. Anyone in my position needs to know the difference between right and wrong. I'm well aware of that. It's so with Anakin, but then look, look what happened to him. He turned to the dark That's side. Fine, then. Anyway, good luck, I guess. If you oh, really you need it, I can always come and help out. So you're not gonna be with Emma anymore? You're just gonna go back? I don't know what's going on with her. And is this Sharon? Yep, you're Sharon. Oh, good evening, Master Reen. I thought you had already retired for the evening. Not just yet. How would you like for me to put together some supper? Did we just eat? I appreciate the offer, but I think I've right. eaten more than I should have as it is. Mm. Your cooking really is delicious, Sharon. I was starting to miss it after not having it for so long. Yeah. <laughs> it was my pleasure to cook for all of you again, so I pulled out all the stops with this one. Seeing all of you happily indulging my handiwork always makes every second of preparation worth it. <laughs> Is something the matter, Master Reen? You're gonna say oh, nothing. I was just thinking about how you haven't changed a bit. I'm not sure it's my place to ask, but is everything alright over at Ouroboros? I don't I know. I can't help but wonder after how things turned out. Vita seems really shocked. Well, she did lose her bird. I'm afraid I haven't a clue. No word of what's been happening in the society has reached my ears since then. I don't know if that bird could be replaced or revived or something, I'm not sure. I have sure. no idea where the second Anguis is now. Nor do I know what happened regarding the Phantasmal Blaze plan after the Chancellor declared he was taking it over. I'm not sure what the PBB is either. <laughs> and quite frankly, none of it is my concern. The answers won't change who I am, and it won't suddenly cause me to shift priorities. That's I good. am and always will be a proud maid of the Reinford family. Not because of the freedom we enforcers are granted, but because that is simply who I am. Hmm. Much like how you being the Ashen Chevalier doesn't change how you are also a proud member of Class 7. That's a good way of looking at it. <laughs> I suppose you're right. And no matter what happens to you in the future, never lose sight of who you really are. It's almost time for me to return to Ruer. But should you ever need me again, I will gladly rush to your side. <laughs> Thank you, Sharon. I'm glad you can stay here for a while longer. Yeah, so everyone's gonna go separately. It's not like, it's not like anybody's teaming up or anything. They're all going separately after the graduation. Interesting. So how are we gonna group up together for three and four? I have no idea. Maybe some characters here won't be back for 3 and 4, I have no idea. 
Before we go there, I want to save. I think we're over an hour, right? Uh, about to hit 55 minutes. Take a break, guys. I'm not sure how much more of the game there is. Maybe there's like a... There's the free day of the morrow. I'm not sure what happens after that. But let's take a break regardless. Thank you for watching. See you next time.